Ave Maria, welcome again to Cato Pinoy Franciscan Vesper or Evening Prayer. Today is October 28. Uh, we have a feast, Feast of St. Simon and Jude Apostles. The name of St. Simon usually appears 11 in the list of the Apostles. Nothing is known of him except that he was born at Cana and is surnamed the Zealot. St. Jude, also called Thaddeus, was the apostle who asked the Lord at the Last Supper why he had manifested himself only to his disciples and not to the whole world. So because, of it, is, because, of it, is, uh, because it is a feast, so we will be getting from the common of apostles. If you have your bravery like this or digital, let us start by praying the invocation of Saint Bonaventure. Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Cleanse my heart from any worthless, evil, distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. The eternal gift of Christ the King, the Apostles' glory let us sing, and all with hearts of gladness raise. Do hymns of thankful love and praise. Their faith in Christ the Lord prevail. Their hope a light that never fail. Their love a blaze or pathway strong. To lead them to the eternal God. In them the Father's glory shone. In them the will of God the Son. In them exalts the Holy Ghost. Through them rejoice the heavenly host. To the Redeemer now we cry, That thou wouldst join to them on high, Thy servants who this grace implore, Forever and forevermore. First Antipon, You are the man who have stood by me in my time of trial. From Psalm 116, verse 10 to 19. I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. First Antiphon, You are the man who have stood by me in my time of trial. Second Antiphon, I have lived among you as one who ministers to others. From Psalm 126 When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heavens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, 
carrying their sheep. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Antiphon I have lived among you as one who ministers to others. Third Antiphon I no longer call you servants, but my friends. For I have shared with you everything I have heard from my Father. Canticle is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3 to 10. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, has bestowed, who bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in Him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight he predestined us to be his adopted sons through jesus christ such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved in him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven so immeasurably generous is god's favor to us God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan He was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in Him, in the heavens and on the earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I no longer call you servants, but my friends, for I have shared with you everything I have heard from my Father. Reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 11 to 13. Christ gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers in roles of service for the faithful to build up the body of Christ till we become one in faith and in the knowledge of God's Son and from that perfect man who is Christ come to full stature. Responsory, tell all the nations how glorious God is. Response. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Make known His wonders to every people. Response, how glorious God is. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Response, tell all the nations how glorious God is. Canticle of Mary, when all things are made new, and the Son of Man is enthroned in majesty, you will sit in judgment over the, over the twelve tribe of Israel. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant from this day all generations will call me blessed the almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name he has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly 
He has filled the hungry with good things, and the which he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Canticle of Mary, when all things are made new, and the Son of Man is enthroned in majesty, you will sit in judgment over the twelve tribes of Israel intercessions my brothers we build on the foundation of the apostles let us pray to our almighty father for his holy people and say response be mindful of your church o lord father you wanted your son to be seen first by the apostles after the resurrection from the dead response we ask you to make us his witnesses to the farthest corners of the world you sent your son to preach the good news to the poor. Response, help us to preach this gospel to every creature. You sent your son to sow the seed of an ending life. Response, grant that we who work at sowing the seed may share the joy of the harvest. You sent your son to reconcile all men to you through his blood response help us all to work toward achieving this reconciliation your son sits at your right hand in heaven response let the dead enter your kingdom of joy so brothers and sisters let us include in this prayer in this franciscan vesper our family relatives friends our loved ones and also our faithful departed and let us not forget to include our frontliners, our brothers and sisters affected by this pandemic. And let us pose a moment of silence for our own personal intention. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, Father, you revealed yourself to us through the preaching of your apostles, Simon and Jude. By their prayers, give your church continued growth and increase the number of those who believe in you. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, your help in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So thank you very much for praying with me. I am again Father Johannes Jeremy Maria Salise, the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate, wishing you all a blessed evening, a wonderful Wednesday, 
and always remember don't forget smile be happy mama mary loves you ave maria